Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the K-Wheats Digital Multimeter. It is the KM200S model. So it's going to come in a big, very small case. You want to notice it does come with a user manual that is in multiple languages. And it looks like each language has about, let's see here. Each language has eight pages. So the unit itself is going to be small. It is a compact unit wrapped in here. It is covered in a hard clamshell plastic, so it should be pretty safe. So you shouldn't have to worry about dropping it. You'll notice it has a cover on the lens here. And let's see here is the spots for your... It is battery powered. It comes with two batteries. So once everything's out of the box, it's going to look like this. And you're going to notice that this, as I told you, it has a hard cover case on it. You're going to have to remove this case to install your batteries. And there's actually 11 pages for each one. Uh, so when you go looking in here, it's also going to tell you it checks the DC. DC stands for your DC voltage. AC is your AC voltage. Voltage, your low battery indicator, on off indicator, your non-contact voltage detection, your ohms, your date hold, automatic mode. Uh, automatic sleep indicator and a high pressure warning. So it has all these functions built onto this. So when you go to remove this, just make sure you're careful and you take the cover off. Just take my fingers and I pull this back and you pull this out. So you see this is the hard, care, care, hard cover that I was telling you about that protects the unit. The unit itself is going to look like this. You're going to need a screwdriver to take that off to install. So once you remove your cover, you're going to look inside here. It tells you which directions the battery will go. The first one goes this way. The second one will go this way. Now, I recommend, just to be sure, turning it on to make sure it comes on. So once you turn it on to make sure it comes on to see if it's working, you'll know if it's correct. So it's in auto mode right now. You can change the modes. So we know it's working, let's turn it back off and finish putting it back together. So now we got to put it back together, we can turn it on again. And we can go through the different modes here. So you got your auto mode, you have your DC, AC, your auto right there online, your, all your different modes are right here. So then you can also do different ones over here. That turns your light on. If you hold this down, it turns it on their light. Let's say you're using this in the nighttime or your electric goes out and you're checking something. Just hold this down. It'll turn on the light for your screen. And then you got your volts, your ohms meter, your sound, and your non-contact voltage down here. So just turn this, turn it back off. We're gonna get our leads out right here. They are sealed. So the first time you use it, you will have to tear the bag open. You'll see here they do have come with covers as well. A lot of them do not. This one does. And it should be fairly simple. It shows you red. Take the cover off to black, your negative. So you have them on. So let's say you want to check something, you turn it on here. We're going to use it on auto. Go back to auto. We are going to see if these batteries here are good. So we have two batteries. One should be not good. One should be good. So we're going to check the volts on these two batteries. I know this one is not working and I know this one is. So we're going to check and see the volts. Got it set on right here. You can put it on auto, but I have it on DC right here. So I'm checking this one. It has 0 0.023 volts. I've tried charging this battery. It doesn't charge. So it's, it's probably not any good. But we're testing it anyway. Now here I'm getting 1.0 when I moved it down there. But when I move it here, so it looks like it's not, something in the battery itself is not getting contact. So when I check it here and here, I'm only getting, I'm getting 1.06 and then it jumps around. If I check this one, it's 1.57 no matter where I check it. So I'm thinking that other battery might not be good. This one, like I said, if we try to use it, it doesn't work. It's a rechargeable battery. 
This one here is worked every time and it's always 1.57. So now I want to do something. I got it set on auto mode. Auto mode, when you put it in auto mode, it should go in and check what you need. So like I checked that battery again in auto mode before I had set it to DC. So this time I go in auto mode. It should still be 1.57 for me. Difficult to get these tips on here when the battery wants to roll. See, so there it is, 1.57. So this is auto mode. So it's checking everything for you. If you don't know what setting to put it on, put it in auto mode. It'll look it up for you. So now I'm going to check this fuse. So we're going to see if the fuse is working. You hear the beep. It's in ohms. That tells you that it is working. If this wasn't working, it would not make that sound. And it would give you a different reading. It would give you a, an infant sign, infinity sign zero or minus one, zero or one it's working so zero so this is a good fuse we know that so we're going to check something else like i said if you're not sure what to put it in put it in auto here we check the dc voltage on this battery we got 1.57 we knew it was good check the voltage on this one this one is not good we're not getting anything from it doesn't even read so we know that it's not good. So we're getting point, we got point three, and then it goes back to auto. So we know this one's not good. We know this fuse is good, we checked it. It's going to, um, it'll make a beep sound to tell us that we're good. It's difficult to get these on here. So now we're gonna check this battery here. This is a 20 volt battery. We're going to check it here and here. We got 19.6 volts. So this battery is good. So basically, you're going to use this to check your power. Uh, let's say you have an outlet that for whatever reason, the power is not coming on. Uh, so you want to see if it's bad. First, you're going to check your breaker. If your breaker is on, go check your outlet to see if you have power to it. A lot of times what you're going to need if you want to stick this in an outlet is back probes so that the tips are longer because these are just normal size tips. It is nice that this thing comes with these covers because a lot of them do not. And it's nice to have these because for some reason, that way you don't have to worry about these accidentally touching. So you don't want that. You don't want these touching. You got these covers for it. That makes it nice. You get the covers for the backs of these. That's nice. Uh, I recommend, unless you know exactly what you're doing, using the auto mode because it should figure out things for you. It should jump from DC to AC for you. Uh, check the fuse. It checked that for you. It makes it very simple to have the auto mode in, in use unless you are exactly sure what you're doing. So this kind of makes it easier for people who are beginning and not sure what they're looking for. I like the fact that this thing has the cover on it. Uh, we showed you how to use it on a couple things. If you're checking your electric, you're going to go inside your outlet and you're going to try to uh, see what kind of voltage you have to see if it's working, if you have the right voltage. Let's say you do have power, but it's not 120. So you're going to figure out why you don't have 120 or if you have none. You can see if you got power coming to your outlet. Sometimes you can have power coming to the outlet, but the outlet doesn't work. You wouldn't know that unless you opened it up and checked it. Check this nine volt battery. It's brand new, which should be nine volts. We're gonna check it. Once again, we have an auto mode because we wanna make sure we're checking the right thing. It's 9.57. So we know this battery is good. You can use this to check batteries. You can use it to check voltage in your outlets. Uh, you can use it to check your fuses. Here you're going to look. I am checking the voltage inside my outlet. If you look down here, this is 120. So we want at least 120 volts. I got 122.1 volts. Once again, that's AC. We have it set in uh, auto mode. If you don't know what you're checking, I want to say that I don't can't say that too many times. Make sure you have it in auto because if you don't have it in the right setting and you're trying to check something it's not going to come up with the readings that you want because basically it's it doesn't know what you're looking for see here 
I don't have that in auto mode. I didn't put it in the right setting. I'm not getting what I want. So you just a matter of setting it in auto mode. And then this will pick it up for you. 122. If you don't know exactly what you're looking for, that's what it comes with the built-in auto mode. It is a small portable multimeter. So it's very lightweight, even with the batteries in it. This probably only weighs maybe four to six ounces. Lightweight. They did a really good job of putting this protective cover on it that keeps it so it's drop resistant. So you don't have to worry about it breaking. Uh, your leads will come with a protective cover on the inside to protect this piece, as well as a piece on the tips to cover that and protect that. That really comes in handy. I recommend, unless you don't, unless you exactly know what you're doing, to keep it in auto mode. So it goes through, we showed you how to check various things. We checked these, all these different uh, batteries and fuses, and we even checked an outlet for you. We showed you what can happen if you don't have it in the right mode. You don't know what you're doing. Your numbers aren't going to be what they're supposed to be, and this could throw you off. If you don't have it on the right setting, you might think something's wrong, and there's really not. You just got to know what setting it's going to be on. If you're ever in doubt, that's what the auto mode is for. Uh, but we set it in. We showed you this battery was good. This one was not. This was good. This was good. The fuse was good. We showed you how to check your voltage. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It is a small, lightweight, easy to use, uh, cost effective multimeter. If you need something like that around your house, most people can use this, uh, especially since the auto mode is there. This would be really handy to keep on hand at your house. It's not super fancy. It's easy to use. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to buy, to buy it. And it's just nice to have one of these in the house. You can check batteries. If you ever have a worried about a fuse, instead of buying a new fuse, you can just check it. Real easy to use. I definitely would recommend this. We're going to put the link for this in the description. Like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.